Hey there, I'm Danny, and this is Retro Camera Review's guide to buying cool camera shit on eBay. Buying expensive cameras is tough enough, but when you can't even inspect it, that just fucking sucks. For me, everything comes down to buying from a seller who's not gonna screw you. It's just as important as checking out what you're buying. If your seller's from Eastern Europe, don't do it. They're notorious for scams and just shitty business. Coincidentally, if you draw on the borders, it looks like a big thumbs down. On that note, if your seller doesn't even fucking speak English or they're really hard to communicate with, you're in for a shit ton of problems if anything doesn't work out. Another thing to look at is how big your seller is. So here we've got a pretty big seller. The pro is that they're pretty safe to buy from. However, they're really busy and they're not going to know a lot about every item they sell. However, here's a list of big box eBayers that you can trust. These guys stand behind what they sell. Then you've got the other extreme, which are the super small sellers. They usually don't know what they're doing, so I would avoid them, especially if they're from Eastern Europe. And then you've got your medium sellers, anywhere from 25 sales to a few thousand. These are usually the regular Joe Schmoes that just want to get rid of their cameras, and they're the best ones to buy from. And you've got to remember, when you're buying on eBay, you're buying used camera shit. Everyone is putting their best foot out there because they want to sell this stuff. So even if they say it's mint, it might not be. And you've got to remember that to bid accordingly. Alright, so let's stop dicking around and let's get in some real eBay auctions to get a feel for it. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do, I've searched for Hasselblad. So we've got a seller, he's got 1,000 cells. He's not too big, so that's cool. I know that this isn't his own personal item because of the way he's talking about it. He says it's in 100% authentic and in great condition. Well, what does that mean? It looks like it's pretty rough. So let's see what else he's selling. If he's selling the Swiss Family Robinson reading book next to a Hasselblad, well, Secret in the Maple Tree? Oh fuck, that sounds like an awful book. He's got a lot of these really weird books he's selling. If we're gonna rate from like one to 10, I'd give this about a five or a six. All right, I'll hit on this a little bit. As far as lenses are concerned, checking them out on eBay, just, it doesn't even matter because you really can't check on them just looking at pictures. You really need to like shine a flashlight through it, see if there's glue separating or exorbitant amounts of dust or other weird things like ass goblins inside of it or something. All right, so let's find something just really shitty. Like let's find the worst fucking piece of dog shit that we can find. Something that you would just like want to stay the f way the fuck away from. We're looking for crap. It's not every day you get to look for crap. That's what we do at Retro Camera Review. So we have a camera from Hungary. I would be weary. All right, so I'm looking at the seller. I see immediately he sold 84 things. Okay, all he sells are it's all camera stuff. Positive reviews. Dear watchers, my goal is to make the buyer happy. So here is this great quality Hasselblad camera. Buy it now and I will ship the lens to you tomorrow. Lens? This is not a lens, this is a camera body. So there is no lens. He's not even paying enough attention to put the correct description on. Now this is an auction I would stay the way hell away from. You'll probably get the camera, but who knows where it's been. You know nothing about the camera. You know nothing about the internal work. I would give this about a, a 2 out of 10. I don't even know what a 1 out of 10 would be. That would be incredible. Okay, wait, all right. Ruly Flex. Not Rolly, but Ruly Flex. I like their spelling. If you were looking for this camera, this might be one of the shittiest places to buy it from. No returns or exchanges. Okay. Wow, they gave us a lot of information here. Okay, so this is definitely not a good buy. Because you don't know if this camera's going to last. And if it doesn't, it's up to you to get it repaired. You can't return it. But he does sell these little die-cast cars, which kind of makes me think he's a little more innocent. Fuck that camera. We could find better than that, right? So let's keep searching. Now this, this looks like legitimate to me. He's not trying to like sell it for more than it is. It's a personal looking picture of his stuff on a desk. Here we go. I am the original owner which purchased this on this date with the original receipt. Okay, so this is really good. This is basically the equivalent of like going to a yard sale or something. You're able to talk to this person about this camera and that's why this auction is appealing. If the price was better, I would give this, you know, an 8 out of 10. Like this is, this is what the kind of stuff you want to look for for eBay. My only reservations with this, he probably hasn't gotten it maintained recently. However, you have the opportunity to ask him all of this before you buy it so you can make an informed purchase. All right, so I hope you learned some things. You could be a smarter buy on eBay. As far as old cameras are concerned, it's always a little bit of a gamble, but what I showed you can 
give you some tips for at least making sure that you're working on good deals. I'll see you next time. Thanks.